The cross summarizes everything that God has done for us. It is a summary of His love. It is a summary of His care. And it is a summary of His eternal concern. Remember this. If you are saved, say amen. amen. You are in the Lamb's book of life. And if you are in the Lamb's book of life, God has already put you in the list of special people. Can you imagine that? Can you add to palahubo? Pala panapaw, panapaw no? Panapaw, kawatan, dakukaon, tapulan, karon na luwas. Na na. Kamo magpasala. You know, you know, when I came into Central Philippine University in 1953, ang among uh, student interviewers, Miss Miss May Kagens. Miss Kagens was already probably about 53 years old. She's not a very young lady anymore, but she was still single. And so one by one before her, there was a man there by the name of uh, Rudy uh, from Kabangkalan. He had a necklace. You necklace my cross. And Miss Coggins looked at him and healed the cross. And he said, Rodolfo, kaya ang iyangan is Rodolfo, Rodolfo Arroz. Rodolfo, if you only know the meaning of the cross, you will never wear it again as an ordinary thing for yourself. You will never wear it again if you only know the meaning of the cross. Jesus Christ gave himself on the cross from the top of his head to the sole of his foot. He was bleeding. And ladies and gentlemen, listen carefully. You do not underestimate the meaning of the cross. Because I told you earlier, it is the summary of what God has done for us. If and when from now on you will never see anybody else again, but you will remember the cross of Jesus Christ, you must remember the agony and the sufferings that you should have deserved. But Jesus took it upon himself. Jesus took it upon himself. Acts chapter 20. Thank you, Brother uh, Felix. Oh, no. Apollos. Felix Manalo. <laughs> Apollos Kutamora. Kini si, si Apollos, kung wala naman sa'yo, makadaog niya sa tawag ng tanghalan. Hmm. Pero huwag man na shortcut. Nag-backslide siya sa, sa Bible College. O niya, karon, hindi na pwede siya. It's late. In this message tonight, I will talk about the looks of the life of the Apostle Paul. When I say looks, it is not his appearance, but his focus, his priority, and the things that he wanted to do. His, his backward look, his forward look, his inward look, and lastly, his upward look. The looks of the life of the Apostle Paul. We are going to take up Acts chapter 20, verses 16 to 38, we are not going to read the verses, but we'll work on every, every verse that we need as the, as the message goes on. It is said that our life is divided into two areas. One is the past, the other one is the future. Somebody asked me, Pastor, what about the present? The present is just a dot. Just a dot to look long that separates the past and the future. Whatever you do in the future, whatever you have in the future, it is an investment of the present. When you live for the Lord, you do not live because of what happened yesterday. You live today. You live today. If you, if you, allow, the, if you allow the past to dominate you, it will paralyze your present and bankrupt your future. 
which means that there is nothing else you can expect in the future if your present is not working very good. And many times, if we look at the back, background of our life, we cannot say good things about yesterday. It's all memory of pain and agony and sometimes uh, problems, burdens that you could not understand. But when it comes to what you are looking for in the future, you remember this. Only God can make it happen the way it would happen. So the present is just a dot that divides the past and the future. And there's a certain time that, that, that must come when, when instead of finding our satisfaction, finding our satisfaction, and looking forward to our earthly good, we are to partake of, it, we, 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 shall, we shall seek our comfort and our joy in looking back on the past, that we have gone through, and the result of what we have achieved. The result of what we have achieved. My son, whatever happens to you, whatever achievement you will have, it will always come back to what you have been yesterday. The accomplishments that you have today are the products of the choices that you made in the past. If you climb a tree, that is your choice. And then while climbing, you fall. That is the result of a wrong choice. Ingon sa ako, Mama, ayaw giyog sa ka anang bayabas. Kaya kung mahulog ka, mahuhu ka dito sa alambre, masamad imutil. Di man kung mapatoo. So, ni nasak nasaka ko sa bayabas. Nahulog ko sa bayabas. Nga naman, kaya naninguha ako ng bidag dito, ng gamay na sanga, akong giabot. Kaya lang, may mga kining layo, ayaw niya, ano ba? So, binagod ka ng bayabas sa mentiryo? <laughs> Tamis ka ayaw. Nahulog ka mga gison, you know what? When I fell from the guaba tree, that was the result of, of a wrong choice. I did not obey. Unya giyad to ako ni mama instead nga ana ana on ka wag gikusi nga kanang kanang kusi nga classical nga kusi iba kanang ana o paak tuyok bira pataas. Mo nang classical nga kusi. Kamo mga mothers nga wag pa wa ana tun-i na tun-i. Kaya ang inyong banang mal dito, makusi ninyo din na diril, tuyo ko niya ana. Your choices in the past has given a result of the present. If you made good choice yesterday, wapo ka ron. But if you made a wrong choice, you cannot change the consequences of a wrong choice. Four things in this message. Number one, the backward loop of the Apostle Paul. Paul's backward look, verses 20 and 21. Verses 20, 18 and 21. Acts 20, 18, 21. And when they were come to him, he said unto them, Ye know from the first day that I came into Asia, after, after what manner I have been with you at all seasons, Verse 19, serving the Lord with all what? Humility of mind and with tears and temptations which befell me by the lying in wait of the Jews. Look up here. If you are given a work of the Lord, dig you to magpahambog. Dig you to magpahambog. Whatever God has given to you, it is a stewardship if you have a business today and your business is successful, stewardship na. Ang business dili imo sa ginoo na gipial ni mo. Pial na, no? Gipial. Pialize. 
It was pure life to you. Bagaman world. And sometimes we become so proud that we have some, we, we become somebody. Mga Egson, from the very beginning, we are nobody. God made us somebody. That is why there is no need for us to be, to be proud. No need to be proud. Even if you are educated, don't be proud. And by the way, your education cannot help the ministry. I remember Dr. Dallas Bellington. In, in June 1934, Dr. Dallas Bellington started the Akron Baptist Temple. When he started the Akron Baptist Temple, he had 14 in attendance, including the owner of the, uh, of the apartment that he rented. June 1934, the attendance was steady, and in 25 years, in 1960, the attendance went up to 5,000 in Sunday school. Was it because of his education? No, it was not. He was only eighth grade. It was never his education. The success that Dr. Bellington had in Akron Baptist Temple, Akron is the, cap the, the rubber capital of the world, any success that he had there because of, is because of the Holy Spirit, because of God working in a life of a man who was very humble. He never asked help from anybody. He was working in the Akron Rubber Company. And all his income, he gives, he gives it to his wife. By the way, kung ikaw banaka, kanang imong swildo, ihatag sa imong asawa. Nga naman, Pastor, kay mas maayo pa mag-budget ang imong asawa kisa sa ikaw. Kay kining bana, dali ikaw mga, brad, palitag beer, beer, kanang beer ba? Beer. Madali itang ma, ma, makuanaan matintal. Pero ang imong asawa, mas, mas maayo na. Pero ayaw ang awaya kay pahakuyo ka ayaw ang awayo ni mga imong asawa. Wag yun kay income. And you will find with Dr. Billington all these years, 25 years of hard work. He had 5,000 in Sunday school. Not because he was educated, not because he had the ability, not because he was a big man. No, he was a humble man from the very beginning. The Apostle Paul said in tears, in humility, tears and temptation that he has gone through. And by the way, if you are in the ministry, don't, don't take it easy. It is not, the ministry is not an easy road for you to do. That is why if, you, if God calls you into the ministry, you have to be determined. Kalimutan ang yesterday. Kalimutan ang imong abilidad. Kalimti ang imong education. Kalimti ang imong health. Sana. Everything must be given to the Lord. Hook, line, and sinker. No reservation. No reservation. Kaya ng ubang mga Bible College students dito sa ato, Kamo mo Bible college student taas kamot taas kamot Bible student oh wanna know a Bible student run oh to miss nin tanano mm di alang kamo sa miss nin aron di kamo magkuan diha basi kamo magcovid diha nara ha kini mga Bible students mo graduate after graduation they will not start work you know what they do they will take up education because just in case they fail in the pastorate, they can, they can go and teach and earn, and earn money. Mga egson sa ginoo dili na, you do not know that. You do not make any reservation of your future. Your future is in the hand of the Lord. Di yung magkuha kapag education? Ah, mayo lang ni kayo kung panalitan ma-entonsis ta sa kuhan sa pastorate na akay makatudlo ta. Tanawa na. Kamu mga babae, kung doon na ngayon yung Bible College graduate ngayon, ana, ayaw daw ata. Ayaw daw ata. Kaya ma-appeal ka na sa, ah, basta ma-appeal ka. <laughs> the backward look. He looked at yesterday. His convictions, the manner of his ministry, Convictions, standards, 
belief and what he preached. My friend, if you have a standard, if you have a belief that you know is right, do not, do not, do not, do not, uh, do not give it away. Do not give it away. Why? If you have standards and convictions or beliefs, keep it yourself. Don't give it up. The manner of his ministry. Secondly, the makeup. The makeup of his ministry. The makeup means the things that brought his ministry together. The makeup. Verse 19. Said unto the Lord with all humility of mind and with many, many tears and temptations which befall me by the lying in wait of the Jews. From this verse, we, we see the makeup of his ministry, humility and lowliness of mind. Tarawa. Humility. Then let there be tears. Paul had many occasions of crying simply because people will turn their back on the truth. Pastor Kent was telling us yesterday, this morning, that there are times that when people go out of this, of, of this church, go out without getting saved, they do not receive Jesus Christ, they just forget the message. My friend, it pains your heart that here you are, you prepare, you, 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 you pray to the Lord, you ask the Lord to take care of those that will be here listening to the message, and here is the person. They, and you know, sometimes, it is, it is the reason why some people do not get it because of the it's because of the Christian. Okay, during the message, the Christian is playing with his cell phone. Cell phone, noisy. Ako ba pagod matuhog? Hagok pa? Tulo pa laway? Tiyaw mo na? And many times, because of the reason why some, some unbelievers do not get saved, is because of the Christian. Napagayod, wapa maman ang servisyo, ang kristohan, ang tuwan na magawa na. Kinahanglan kung niya ka nag-service ka, dili ka mo pa uli, until mahuman giyod. Ayaw sa tulog diri. Diri na na. Yang uban pagi di lima minau, ambut lang oi. Pelu dunia gili watana, kung di lima sa amahan sa inahan. Kemudian timbang timbang nak, kaya yang bayabas di gud magbunga kaya mitu, mau guna iya. Tears, humility, the method, the manner. The makeup now the method of his ministry. The method in verse twenty. Look at verse twenty. Verse twenty. Verse twenty. Acts twenty. Verse twenty. The Bible says, "And how I kept back nothing that was profitable unto you." Magisawon when a preacher stands up over here in this pulpit, we try to preach things that are profitable unto you. Kana magpreach mi diri o kanang nang against drinking, that is profitable for you. Kana magpreach mi o kanang dili ka mang mangulitaw sa kanang unbeliever, that's profitable for you. Nya, guapo mong good pastor. Nya kung ano kung guapo, dili man luwas magpreach ko nga maluwas ya. Oh, ni garantiya pagyud. Murag doon ay gahom nga makaluwas o unbeliever. Ang kinalisdan nga maluwas ka ng mga gwapo. Oh, maay pa ka ng mga tao nga ang naong daginoton. <laughs> Madali na maluwas. Mga egsoon, I will tell you this. There are things in life that sometimes we do not understand. I have lived long enough to understand that the things that I try to do with my will is wrong. Usahay ka nang mag-ingura nga, pasok ka ng guwapo mga good, dili na na iyan sa kabuton sa ginoo. Ay mo na ng kabuton. Kaya ang kabuton sa ginoo, mamenyo good ka sa believer good. 
believer ka nang save good. Dili ka nang pasave si Blanc. Save good na siya. Nga usahay kita sa doon. Amot lang ay di, usahay di, di ka tasabot. Nga, nga naman nga imong ati manon pag yun. Katong unbeliever. Yun yung unbeliever sa doon. Doon na yung mga pakulo niyo ay. Doon na sa abilidad ng mga unbeliever. Nga kita kay, huwag ang tamaanad niya na, na data dayon. Mm. Restauran. Mm. Soup drinks. Pagkatapos, wala na. Hard drink na. How I equipped back nothing that was proper to you, but showed you, number one, your example is the, the best teaching aid. The best teaching aid is what you show people. And have taught you publicly and from house to house. Now his ministry was public and then private from house to house. So we find here the makeup of his ministry the method of his ministry, and number four, the message. I like this. The message of his ministry. Testifying both, verse 21, testifying both to the Jews and also to the Greeks, repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. My friend, the message of the gospel is very simple. Amen. You do not need to invent the message of the gospel is the gospel. The death, pure, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. You do, not need to, you do not need to ask somebody what is the message. You know already what the Bible teaches us. Repentance and faith toward God. If a person is ever going to be saved, he has to repent of his sins. Hinulusulan yun ni Muna. Dili nga nagbasol ka. Dili hinulusul yun. Hinol soul, you have to repent of your sins. And so it was a, it was a message, of, message of repentance. Acts 17, 20. But now commanded all men everywhere to repent. <laughs> you know that, that, that message, when you look at the mirror, the first thing that you see is your, your nose. That's how simple the message is. It is, like, it is as plain as your nose on your face. It is very important. We do not change messages. The message of Pastor Kent, the message of Brother Rafi, the message of our deacons, the message that I have is all the same. Amen. We do not change. The message of Brother Nolan Diaz, the message of Brother Louis, everybody. Our message is the same. The message by the Marlon, by the Tobal, by the Sherwin, they are they're all the same. They are all the same. And we think that we make our own message. No, 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 my friend. We do not make our message. We only share. The message is already patterned by the Lord for us. That is why Bible Baptist Church will never change its message. This church will not change the message. It will always be here. We may, we may change our method and the manner by which people are being rich. But my friend, the message of Bible Baptist Church will be the same. There was one time, this my Brad Ford. Magkisunan ang atong leksyon karo sa Sunday School. Kung unsa magtanom o musro. Ano? Magtanong og mushrooms. Di amo nang magtanong og mushrooms sa Sunday school. Naamo sa sa Bibliya nga magtanong og mushrooms. Wa. Repent, repentance and faith toward God. Mm. Mga kaisunan kamong naa sa guwa kay gapan na ako bako man sila. Gapan na bako. Sulod na mo kay mag-start ta sa Sunday school ti amo nang panabako sa guwa wa pa sa Sunday Sunday school. Kamu kung mag-manabako mag, mag, mo sa inyo, panabako daan. Hmm. 
Dito naman sa Binggit, ang problema nila ka ng magmama. Wala pa ang Sunday school, gamama na. Murag Muslim na. <laughs> Usahay mga kaibisunan, there are things that we observe from people, you know, and, and, and it, does not, it does not jive with the gospel that we are preaching. Very simple atong gospel. Very simple. You don't need to be a teacher or a doctor or a lawyer or, or somebody to be able to give the message out. Your willingness and determination to share is enough. The message, the backward look, number two, the forward look. Acts 20, verses 22 to 24. June pushes up. Acts 20, 22, 23, 24. There's 22. And now, behold, I go bound in the Spirit unto Jerusalem, not knowing the things that shall befall me there. 2023. Say that the Holy Ghost witnessed in every city, saying that bonds and afflictions abide in me. 24. What does it say? But none of these things move me. If you are in the ministry, don't be afraid. Don't mang be mag criticize nimo. Don't be mga tao nga dili makagusto nimo. But you are not there to please people. You are there to obey. Nakan ang pastora tanaw na yung barong. Amo na offering. Oh, naon sa ka? Nya. Kung opering, hindi ko anak ko sa emo, wah, gaahatan mo sa ginoo. Ang tanawa ng sapatos, o tanawa. Hinangi ang asawa, o tanawa ang medyas, bago. Amo na. O naunsa mo, pati medyas. Because my friend, when you give your offerings to the church, that's already for up to the pastor, what he will do with it. Kay he is the administrator man. And by the way, if you are given money from the church, you have, to, you have to write everything what you did with it. There is no problem about the money. The problem would be how you spent it. We'll get an amount of there, and they will not even mark what they did with the money. Ang lisod pag yod, ang sobra dili uli. Ti amo na. Kani ato papalit na nako ogin mo si mama. To ma palit ogin mo si. Taga na hujis pisos. Pagkatapos ang akong paliton cinco pesos lang. Ang cinco pesos ako itago dere. Ma ang akong gipalit ng ogin mo si. Cinco pesos lang. Ang cinco ni asa ako dire, ma kung pwede, ako na lang ni. O niya, dako mo na kayo, kaya kanya ito ka ng 5 pesos, may huon magkapalit ka ng pinaypay, ng mga kananga, kuhan, tabunan dire, tabunan dire ni mong pinaypay, <laughs> di makita na yung muna mong. So ma, di ba ba rin nalulan? Pinaypay? Ka ng 5 pesos ng pinaypay, may huon makahigda ka na na na. That's the truth, amen? Tinod, kamong wapag mong ka-experience, ana, murag, matinga mo, ana, mga iso ng pinaypay ka na ito po timbara to, ha, in town. Oh. Mga una nga, kita, kita nga mga, mga, mga bata, be, be obedient to the Lord. Tapos kita na yung mama ang ginamos. Grabing ginamos na yung wala malagi sa baon ni. Eh. So, sa pagsabaw nga paghatag sa ako, pag-ana na ako, naghigop na tayo sa baw. Hangtod nga naabot kami sa pag-abot sa bahay, wanay sa baw. Ingin ni mama, grabe ito si Kabamba, yung taga-Batangas nga babae, grabe ito si Kabamba, magbaligya o ginamos, why sa baw? <laughs> Kabamba ba nagmunag, kiloan sa baw, tuwa na sa tungol. <laughs> 
Uy, sa katawa mo, yung katawa ng biya na. Huwag <laughs> mo. Nawa na naman tayo na matani. <laughs> he was in Jerusalem. He did not know what will happen to him. But he was there to fulfill the ministry. Wherever God leads you, God wants you to be there to fulfill the ministry. God sent you there. Brother June. Brother June. <coughs> there is something in Brother June and Annalyn their giftedness, God sent them to Pakistan so that their giftedness can be exercised in Pakistan. Nga naman what was it in Thailand? Pakistan magyud. Sometimes we have gifts that God gives to us and God knows where it will be exercised. The area of ministry that God will give to you Sometimes it corresponds to the ability and the gift that God to give it to you. See, David Livingstone lang. He went to Africa. Can you imagine a man? Albert Schweitzer. He went to Lambarin, Africa, a very isolated part of Africa. He was a, he was a concert uh, musician in New York. Albert Schweitzer, doctor of medicine, musician, Concert pianist, he went to Lambarin, Africa, and might have very isolated a, 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 a part of Africa that he went, beside the river. Why would Albert Schweitzer go to this place with all the education that he has? God called him there for one purpose, that the abilities that God has given to him, his giftedness, will be exercised in the area of ministry in Lambarin. He was able to reach the people over there. Dito sa nakikitag warm nga, wala niya makitisukad. Snake nga, ambut lang. But here is a man who has committed himself to the Lord. Doon yung mga tao nga, doktor, hindi ako na ako, doktor, good, good, good. Buha na ako na sa Lambarin. Dili, oi. But sometimes, you know, when God calls you to, some, to a place, God wants you to be there to fulfill your ministry. Amen. To fulfill your ministry. You do not know what will happen to you over there. You do not know. Just like Adonai, Adonai Ram Johnson. I wonder if Adonai Ram Johnson would be serving in Burma if he knew that he was going to bury his wife and children in Burma. Have you wondered about that? I wonder if Hudson Taylor would have continued serving in China if he had known that he would bury his wife and children in that land. They did not know. They did not know. I did not know that I will be, I will be, I will be, uh, I'll, be, I'll be serving over here. I didn't know. But I believe that every direction that God has placed in my way is for the purpose of me reaching the area where I can fulfill the ministry. Yeah. I've not gone to Bible college. I told Bob Hughes, I said, do you think I, did, I need to go to Springfield, Missouri for Bible college? He said, no, 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 you don't need he said, just study books. I studied books. I read many books. And I found out that the people that really read books and know some books, they are the ones that are able to see methods that they have in the ministry. Books about Livingston, Hudson Taylor, David Livingston. I wonder if Anton Anderson would go to, to the Belgian Congo if he knew that he would die over there. I would, I would wonder. But yet they were there to fulfill their ministry. I wonder if Jim Elliott or a Nate Shane would go to the Alka Indians in, 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 in Ecuador if they knew that they would be killed by the very people that they love so much to win to Jesus Christ. 
I wonder if they would go. They did not know. As they float the plane and hovered and find a sandbar where they can land in the river, they found out that the Aoka Indians, savage people in Ecuador, they were there watching already, ready with their spears. Nate Chained and Dim Elliot died in 1957. And my friend, during that particular time, I was still in college. And I didn't know what to say except to say this, that these people have been wheeling in the, from the very beginning. Well, they were in the uh, Texas a a and they, they were there. They were studying how to pilot. They were studying about airplanes. They were studying about reaching the Alka engines. They, were, they, they know many things about the Alkas. And the Aukas, when they see somebody that is not of, of the same uh, continents as they are, they already begin to question mark. Kita dili tapoy di dito. Kaya ang atong skin, we are whiter than the Aukas. Ang mga Aukas, itum. Ang uban, ang ilang kulor, murag lubot sa kawan kaldiro. Tinood na. Pero ang uban sa medyo brown gamay kay Ecuador good. But my friend, they died. But in their ministry, they fulfilled the ministry that God has given to them. When Jim Elliot and, and Nate Shane died, their wives went back to the Alka Indians and won many people to Jesus Christ, including the man that speared Jim Elliot. Na saved. And he became pastor of the church that was, that was, that was uh, established over there. Who would imagine that it will happen? That's the reason why many times when we are, in, we are called into the ministry, we have so many questions. Mga Egson, if God calls you in the ministry, you are a very special person. You are very special. Tama sa tibu, minilyon nga tao sa kalibutan, tawago na ikaw. Of all people in the world, God called Samuel by name. <coughs> Excuse me. You are a special person. Amen. When God called me into the ministry, my son, I did, not, I did not think of anything. I was not thinking of money. I was not thinking of income. I was just thinking of ministry. The privilege to preach the gospel. Somebody asked me one day, he said, he said Dr. Jusaba, why did you leave medicine and go to the ministry? Why have you just spent many, many years in, the, in, in, in medical school and, and then later on become a minister? Here's what I said. When I went to, to medical school, God wanted me to know about the physical frame of the person. In order that I will value more the spiritual part of the person. The more I think about it, Dr. Dr. Diaz will, will bear me with this. She will understand. You can treat a drunkard and make him healthy and strong, but he will die and go to hell. But the soul that will be saved as a result of the message you give out, as God sent you in the area to fulfill your ministry, that person will be in heaven forever and forever. Amen. Do not underestimate God's call for you. If God calls you, my friend, you are a very special person. Amen. When I was here, I was the one cleaning the toilet. I was the one sweeping the floor. <clears throat> I was the one cleaning the piano. I didn't know how to play the piano. I was the one getting the offering. I was the one... He said, I was the one ushering the people in, but during the special numbers, they will not let me sing. <clears throat> Do you know why my wife did not let me sing? His wife knows his ability to sing. Mukanta to siya, kaubasin Brother Funk. Would you be free from the burden of sin? There's power in the blood. Monotone. 
Murag nagdaro ba? There is power, power, wonderful. Murag way power. Do you not let me sing? But my friend, he came here not because he knows how to sing or any other thing. He was here because God placed him here in Cebu City. Yeah. One time they had a meeting. Uh, Presbyterian, Sabadista, kanang mga Pentecostal, kanang mga taga, kanang BTC, BTC, First Baptist Church, like that. Baptist Conference of the Philippines, <coughs> convention, they, they were here in, in Cebu City, they had a meeting. And they said, Mr. Hughes, we are happy that you are here with us today. But you know, you are not supposed to start work in Cebu because the, 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 this place here is for UCCP. You are supposed, because you are a Baptist, you are supposed to start in Negros and Panay. That is the area of the Baptist because many years back, we divided the Philippines into different areas. Uh, Baptist, uh, Negros and Panay, Christian Missionary Alliance, Mindanao, Ang Sabadista, ng kiniganing, uh, no, no, Sabadista is in Central Luzon, UCCP, Leyte, and here. You know what Bob you said? He stood up and he said, gentlemen, Thank you for the information. But I'm sorry. When you divided the Philippines, I was not here, so I did not get my part. I will start anywhere God leads me. Yeah. And he started this work. While we were, we were thinking about a building, you know, to construct a building, we said, Pastor, why don't we buy a, a, a property there near... Uh, near the Cebu Normal University or near Fuente or something like that, we will buy a place where, you know, kanang, nindot nga place ba? You know what he said? If we are going to build a church, we are not going to build it in, in a place where there are many people that are rich that are going. We ought to build it in the place where there are people that are coming. Nyakini kay Islam area, Islam area. We will build it there in the slum. There's where the people are. We are not here to be known as a, you know, a, a church in the... No, we want to be known as a people that are winning people to Jesus Christ. Why should? kitchen. Nakabot nga, nakabot mataan na, wala mo tayo maghuna-hunaan ng. The backward look, the forward look, thirdly, the inward look. B verses Acts 20:25, June Acts 20:25. I want you to let us. I want us to read this one because 25 to 31. <clears throat> Acts 20:25, June. Look at that. And now behold, I know that ye all among, among whom I have gone preaching the, God, the kingdom of God shall see my face no more. 26. Wherefore, I take you to record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men. Can you imagine how bold he is? He is pure from the blood of all men. 27. For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of God. Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock, to all the members, over the which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers. My son, we do not own this. Pastor Kent is our pastor, but he does not own this church. We are only overseers. Give your land, taba. Give your land. The funeral parlor, brother Nolan, Mom, Doctor Diaz. They, they, we will say they own a funeral parlor. That is not really their own. Give your land, sa ila ina. They were entrusted with something. Sometimes I wonder, though, how they pray. 
Si Doktor magpray nga ka ma, 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 ma maayos siya ang mga pasyente. Si Padre Nolan mo say, Lord, kill them. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> I can imagine lang bago ba? Hey, patay ko na siya. Kung di, kung dag daghang patay, dagaw yung income. Si Doktora said, kung dag daghan ang maayo, dagaw sa yung income, Doktora. Oh. But my friend, all of this is a trust. Ang bugiro, ito na, gipalitan o 150cc nga motorcycle. Ang buta na, disgrasya, patay. Kini motorcycle man go, doon rin ligid na na. Kana, itong badaan, ikaw na nagpatindog niya, gisakyan. Kinahalang magpalit mo sa kinan, kanang lima ang ligid. Kaya kung matumba ang upat, nakakapaitindog. <laughs> the inward look, what did he do? He gave a testimony in the past. Tanawa na. That is telling us that Paul had witnessed to every opportunity, at every opportunity. He witnessed at every opportunity that, that he had telling people about the Lord Jesus Christ. This should be our attitude. Can I talk about the views? We will go visit. May soon ako'y mauwaw. Nga naman. Kaya every person we met, iyang istoryahan about Jesus Christ, may usap, gusto siya. Grabe, Pastor Yusoy. Mag-ana ba ako ba? Tiyan mo nang istoryahan naman to. Wala niya may elite. He didn't, he didn't know, he does not know the name. You just, just talk to him, you know, like that. Taod, taod. Nagduko na sila, nagpray na, nagdawat sa ginoo. Hindi po itong grabihan sa... Si J.O. Grunz naman, nagpalit o ka ng kanang dili kanang chewing gum J.O. Grooms how many of you know J.O. Grooms you know you remember J.O. Treasure Path to Soul Winning wala kang mukha ibaho ah di nanda pa tayo kaya wala kang mukha ibaho but anyway nagpalit siya kanang chewing gum pagkatapos ang babae may sinsiyo na ihatag kay J.O. Gomes. Pero gidawat na niya ang, ang uh, uh, chewing gum, pero ang sinsiwa niya dawata. Nga naman, ingin si J.O. Gomes, if I accepted that, the lady will go away. So I, I, I did not accept it so that she will stay in front of me while I am witnessing to her. Ingo grabe sa ni J.O. Gomes, no? Mundo si J.O. Grooms, ambot lang mga kaigsoonan. I have gone with people who will witness to people, who win people right there. Ako na yung mauwaw. Grabe, oh, tanaw mo na. Wakaan ako ba? But you know, that is exactly the attitude that God is looking for in every Christian. Nakinang mag-witness to dayon. Talk to people. Pero ang definition nato kay bisag smile di tamo smile. Did you not know that smile can open up a conversation? A smile can increase the value of your face. And smile can increase your beauty. Kana kung dun nagi beauty pero kung wala yod. No. Pero ayaw sa smile na ikaw lang usah grabe. But you know, when somebody smiles, I try to smile. Hello. Mom, hello, good morning. And sometimes that you start with that and you have a conversation and you win somebody to Jesus Christ. Tanawa. Yeah. <clears throat> Mom, hello. Ikaw itong nangawat sa amo, no? Ikaw itong nangawat na akong ngawat, itong iyong shirt na bilhin sa amo, pula. <laughs> nangawat ka. Bisagwa, mangawat. Ang good lawyer. He talked of the past. Number two, 
he called a special care for the present. Yesterday, now, and then the future, he warned them of the dangers. Dunay, kauban si Brother Junji. Hi, Brother Junji. Hi, Brother Junji. Hi, Junji. Kauban niya si Dennis Ramirez. Ako nang iminsunungan yun. Dennis is a member of the Saturation Team. Pastor, bago lang ko na nag-asawa, ngayon, binibigay sa akin yung church doon sa Murong. What can you say about that? I said, Dennis, when you accept a new work, there are things that you have to be aware about. Number one, if you accept that, you will be compared to the original pastor. Whether you are a good pastor or not, i-compare mo kanila. Kaya yung pag-speak, pag-pronounce of words, i-compare ka. Even your way of eating, i-compare ka. Pagkatapos, pero I said, if this happens, yes, never mind, because that's a part of the nature of people. They will pick up something that is wrong with you. Then I said, the way you preach, they will compare you to the original pastor. Secondly, ang imong asawa, you're not familiar with the ladies of the church, they will compare your wife to the other ladies of the church. And it may not be good for her to feel bad about herself. But that is the danger in accepting a work that you did not start from the very beginning. Yeah. You have to know the people. <coughs> Two weeks later, ni siya. Pastor, walang din ako, dawata ang kwan. Ang, uh, ang work. Tiyan mo na, nga pa na ako madawat, ang ilang gisgusa na ang kwarta. Ang alawan sa pastor, Ilang offering, hindi na wow niya dawata. Yung ko, Dennis, salamat kayo mo nang gihimo. Kaya kung hindi mo itong gi-accept, kunya, i-compare ka sa original pastor, ah, ang, ilang, bang, si, ang, ilang, ang ilang church, ito sa Luyo Cementerio. Nindot noon nga lugar, nga naman, why saba? <laughs> sa Luyo Cementerio ba, Jay? O sa Luyo Cementerio? <laughs> you know, in the ministry, you have, there are many things that you will, you, you will. Can I be a menu ka? Maminyo? You have to tell the person the dangers of getting married. Mga in-laws, mga brothers and sisters, tanan. Ngaon na kung maminyo mo, ayaw yun mo puyo sa inyong in-laws. Mas maayo na lang nga mo puyo ka mo sa inyong separate place na inyo lang kisa naa ka nindot kayo ang imong in-laws pero gibantayan ka ni Ana. Hmm, dito lang mo puyo sa sementeryo kayo ay problema dito. <laughs> Tinood ka nang nasa karita sa may karita? Ang mga tao na aga, ang mga bata sa, sa, sa kanang kanang na poy ng pansyon, sa pansyon ka tuog. Wag mo kakaadto sa karita. Kinahalan makaadto mo para makita ka mo ng blessed ministry na ito. May jubilin. Where is jubilin? Ay jubilin o. Ang blessed ministry na ang ato mga kwan, mga, mga pupil sa karita. Nga dito sila sa pansyon ka, tuog. Ang ilang hayhayan sa ibabaw sa pansyon? <laughs> ang ilang mga silingan? Pulos patay. Pero ang nakanindot kayo, nagtawag nila, silent. Hmm. Walay video ki, walay, walay, walay palahubog. Doon ay dito sa may San Miguel. I was visiting, I was walking. Isa, nang, sige, siyo ko agi dito sa inyo niya. Kaning, kaning inyong sundang, naalang dihaw niya, di pa ni mawa? Kay sementeryo man, sa taliwa sementeryo. Doon, wag pa tayo nga mga wat. <laughs> Why mga wat? Kaya ang amun silingan din, pulos pa na patay. 
ang mga wat ang buhi mau na mau na piaw mo na usahay kini Kristuhanon mau i ang bulan dahil ang problema oi ako na lang isto yan eh <coughs> ang baptist giembitar sa kwan sa adili ang muslim giembitar sa baptist nga mag-attend og serbisyo nila. Pabot nito sa pultahan, ingon sa, sa Muslim, kanang imo sa patos, ibilin di ha? Kay diri sa amo, di man isood. Ingon sa Baptist, dili ba mawa? Dili, ibilin lang. Gibilin lang. The next Sunday, ang Baptist, giimbitar ang Muslim ngayon sa kwan. Oh, Baptist no? <coughs> Sunod, gibitar ang... Oh, unang baptist. Gibitar sa muslim ang baptist. Ha? Gibitar. Paabot na din sa kuhan sa pultahan, ingon sa muslim, kanang imong sapatos, ibilin diya sa kuhan, sa pultahan. Ingon sa baptist, di ba di mawa? Dili na mawa kay wadiri yung baptist. Usahay ang dagong problema, baptist. Dagong kaon, baptist. Hmm. The upward look, the inward look, the past, the present, and then the future dangers that will be there. Outside dangers. Outside dangers. Then there is the inside dangers. Verse 30. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. Tanam na. Nai inside dangers. Na sa outside. Kana mga mutudlo diri nato mga doktrina nga dili mao. That is outside dangers. Ingon si ingon si Paul. Ingon siya they are wolves. Faxes that will come in. Ang dakong problema sa kung gikan din sa suod, magtudo di lima o. So we have the backward look, the forward look, the inward look, lastly, the upward look. The upward look, this is the best look. Many of God's people tend to make the downward look and therefore, what they see are wrong things. Downward man, verse 32. And now, brethren, I command you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all the which are sanctified. Letter A. This verse tell us, number one, we are going to be built up by the Word of God. The upward look, the, the Word of His grace, edification, build up, being born again, we are begotten by the Word. We are quickened by the Word. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of, but of corruptible, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. Edification, number two, inheritance, and to give an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. Mga egsoon, paminaw mo, ang atong inheritance to asalangit. Doon ay mga pamilya nga mag-divide sa ilang inheritance. Pagkahuman, mag-inaway. Ang maguwang, gusto niya nga ang sunod niya, kuhaon pag ito ilang inheritance. Di amo na, no? Ay, mamut lang. Doon ay mga, doon ay mga taong hakog ba? Pero kita mga isoon, wat ay problema sa inheritance. Nga naman, ginuumay mo hatag na nato. Kamong wala pa mo maluwas, 
Ang bumika kung wag ka mo manuwas, wag yud mo inheritance. Oh. Kung di ka mo manuwas, ang inyong balay, yuta ragyod, kami mansion. In my father's house are many mansions. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Wag yun ko makapuyo sa kanang nindut ka. Ang among balay, nagdako lang ko, kawayan per me. Pero nindut ang kawayan, air condition. Nighigda ni mo, way, way banig, oh, air condition ay. Nana. But my friend, it is not the house. It is the people that live in the house. We have mansion in heaven. Inheritance, edification, and number three, sanctification. We are set apart. Are you saved this evening? God has set you apart from the world. Di ka na magsagula ng mga may bibibijuki. Nya si ganta nga yabag. Di ta makatog. Mawa atong appetite paminaw. Ang buta diha sa amos ako sa opera. Amos, di ba sing? Di ba sing? Kana magkanta diha nga puting yabaga. Nya isog ra ba kayo? Kana magkantang lisod. Moy ang ikanta. Ambut lang. Pero kung panalitan maayo ang inyong tingog, okay ba na? Tulungan mo mong iusik ninyo na sa, may, sa mga baryo nga wawi sa, sa inyo lang balay. Doon na ba yung tao nga kamumakanta pero sa bathroom lang? Sanctification. Set apart. We are protected. Verse number Psalm 119, verse 11. Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. John 15, 3. We are cleansed by the word of God. Now ye are clean to the word that I have given, that I spoken unto you. The word of God will cleanse you if you will read it regularly. The truth, thy word is truth. The word of God is the means to make us holy. Titus chapter 2, verse 11. For the grace that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men, verse 12, teaching us that denying ungodliness and word of lust, we should live soberly. We should live righteously and godly in this present world. Pastor Ken told us this morning, it is very easy for us to be kaya ma-attracted ba sa tingin sa kalibutan? Nga naman, kay kinidaan, the inclination of the flesh is world. Hiningi mo unod, kung pasagdan eh, di ka mo ba sa Bibliya, mabakslide ka, baili da yun. Baili. Nga, inom to ba? Kinira bang Kristuhan, mag-inom to ba? Magwali. Tinood na. Nga kung doon ay maluwas, pinindahan ko, daw maayo to kayo, may naluwas ng tatluhaw. Yung siya, aw, oh, doon lang gani kabaso to. <laughs> doon lang gani ko kabaso. Iisog kayo basta nakainom. Hmm. It's very easy. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the power of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passes away, and the lust thereof. But he that what? Doeth the will of God, abideth forever. Kalibutan. Sinina, kalibutan. Mga amigo, pulos kalibutan. Music, kalibutan. One line, pulos kalibutan. Because the inclination of the flesh is to be fashioned with the world. You know the Bible says in Romans 12, verse number 2, 
and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is the good and acceptable perfect will of God. It is this one that will take you away from the world. Kini. Sige ka lagbasa, Giyod. Sige lagbasa. Ako, when I read, I check the chapter, I nagibasa na ako. I check it. I try to read as much as I can and try to check it. And you'll find that the Word of God will help you in many, many ways. Sometimes, when you think about the message, the, the verses just come out of you. Nanda lang. And the Word of God is going to... This is the book that God has given to us. Mauni ang mag-guide nato. Mag-guide nato sa familia. Okay? Mauni ang mag-guide nato kung maminyo ta. Mauni ang mag-guide nato sa pag-discipline sa itong mga kabataan. Bible yun. Kung naka kayo relationship sa kanang business, mauni ang Biblia saan. Mm. And sometimes, you know, we think we do not think very much about the Word of God. We are begotten by the Word of God. We are given inheritance by the Word of God. We are cleansed by the Word of God. We are built up by the Word of God. And therefore, because of that, the Word of God, like Pastor Ken said today, the Word of God is the very, very book that is full of love for you and for me. It is a book that tells about how Jesus Christ died and gave himself in order to show to you that he really cares for you. The cross is the summary of how God cares for you and is concerned for you. If the Lord Jesus Christ can come today he will still stretch his hand and say, I love you Amen. with all my heart. And my friend, listen carefully. If you are here today and you are already saved, determine in your heart and you will say, Lord, help me to be faithful. Amen. Help me to love my wife and children. Usay kita mga Kristuhanon, di nato higugmo na itong asawa. Kinahanglan, panggao na ito ang atong asawa. Atong mga kabataan. Hmm. Niya ka mo sa mga asawa, ati manasa din inyong mga bana. Usay, gigutom ang bana, nagpauli, wa pakalungag. Gilabay na lang sa bana ang kaldero. Nga naman, why post ni kaldero? Wa, 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 lungag. Ikaw sa bana, ayaw lang papunas per me. Kay kapoy nang sige punas. Kaligoy. And you know, all of that, it is summary, Bible. This book of the law shall not depart out of mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way, what? Prosperous. And then thou shalt have, what? Good success. If there's anything you need, right here. Right here. You need money? Right here. You need honey? Right here. You need to comfort yourself in all the burdens that you have right here. And the God that wrote this book is going to comfort you all the time and be with you. I hope that this message has brought some ideas for you about yesterday, about the future, about the inward, and about your out upward look. And one day, when Jesus Christ shall have already been broke, have broken, have, shall have already broken the clouds and come down to all of us to pick us up. Hinaot pa ng kitang tanan magkuyog sa ginoo. Buddy Jun Jun knows that there is already a highway from China to Pakistan, di ba? Oh, Europe. Europe. 
China to Europe, mauna ang agyanan sa mga 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 nations yung unsaved, they will go to to the to the to Armageddon. While kita ng mga Kristuhanon will come from the, after the marriage supper of the Lamb, we will all kita ng mga Kristuhanon na kaputi atong sinina nagsakay ta sa kabayo. Mao karundaan at umu sa alupis pangita kabayo sa kaimo. Kayo sa kadlo, kinahan magkataon niya mo. Di ba, sige mahulog muna. And then the Christians will be with the Lord in the battle of Armageddon. Woo! Amen. Tiyan mo na ang ginoo, inikabot sa tribulation, o sa battle of Armageddon. Mukhaan na lang siya, oh, sa mga kaaway. O sa akin, makaingon ko nga, mayon tagtagaan ko sa ginoo, ganang, buwan na lang sa akong kaaway. Diwas na. Ang mga gahig oo ba? Gahig ka goo? Pagtuon mo, sakay sa kabayo. Amen? Heavenly Father, thank you.